What's going on guys? Josh Brown over here at Texas Bull World in Harker Heights. And you know, we sold Skeeters uh, for several years, quite a few years. And I think one of the most commonly asked questions that I'm gonna try to help knock out today and, and maybe help uh, save some time when you walk into your local dealership or when you walk into ours is what's the difference between an FXR and a ZXR. Uh, I'm not gonna make this a super short video. This is probably gonna be a little bit longer, but if you wanna see everything that makes these boats different, So, just starting off with standard specs between the boat. This is our 2024 FXR 21. This is our 2024 ZXR 21. I'm just going to keep these specs to this specific boat as far as lengths and whatnot go. We're not going to break it down into the 20 and the other. Uh, we're just going to keep it this to make it simple. Both boats measuring in at 21 four inches. Okay, exactly the same there. Both boats measuring in at 97 inches on the beam. Both boats weighing in the same at 2275. Both boats coming in with a 48 gallon fuel tank. So both boats, 17 inch draft. The uh, both boats, a 21 inch interior cockpit. I mean, there as far as the boat goes, guys, we, we're looking at the same boat here. Okay, now, but, oh, by the way, same capacities, both boats rated for five people, both boats rated for the 250. So anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, let's start talking about some differences. All right, so we're gonna walk back and forth a little bit uh, between the two here so you can see them real time differences. First thing that you're gonna notice uh, when you walk on, up on the trailer is our step pad, which isn't a big deal, but you get a little bit bigger of a step pad there with our FXR logo on it. And then a little bit smaller pad here on our ZXR. Still a nice step pad, but it is cut down a little bit. Now we're gonna roll up here to that step. Still got us a step to get into the bow of that boat. However, when we come over here, we look at our FXR. We've got a step, two step, but we've added this massive grab handle. Definitely a nice upgrade. Uh, definitely something that you'll see a lot of benefit in when you spend enough time on the water getting in and out of the boats. So as we move around, let's see winch, jack stand, all that stuff's the same. Our hookups there are the same. Both gator hide coated trailers. Uh, look at our spares. Let's see, we got a difference in tires. So our ZXR, you're going to get 205, 75, 14s as your standard tire on that. And then over here with our uh, FXR, you're going to get 215, 65, R17s on that one. So you're getting a little bit bigger tire uh, and wheel package over there. Now, as we move in a little bit, and notice over here, and I, I honestly, guys, this is, this is, highly underutilized item uh, or overshot on a lot of them but this side step right here on the FXR is phenomenal if you just need to hop up toward the boat real quick and grab something out of it or open a box or something so uh, that is a nice add now one of the nice things on the ZXRs they do extend out your trailer pad here or your sorry your fender 
section here. So you got a big step area included there. Um, so that is nice, but you can see we've got uh, just a gator hide coated fender over here. And on this one, we've got our fiberglass fender with some extra badging that you're not gonna see on your ZXR. There, still big step back here on the back, but a big enough step uh, with a nice under kick here. It allows you to that roll under on the fender here is nice. It allows you to get your foot in there uh, if you're trying to step up off the uh, trailer into the boat. Uh, both boat or both trailers are going to come with our ratchet tie downs. Both trailers are going to come with your reverse lighting. So back here, back here, we're back to same stuff, okay? Just a little walk around there. You can see that trailer step, or that trailer step is on this side as well, so you do have it on both sides. Let's move into the boat a little bit. All right, so let's talk about bow differences, things we're gonna find up here. Now, standard, uh, Controller motor on both of them are going to be your Altrex 45. Uh, that one has been upgraded over there to a 52 Altrex, but this one has been upgraded to a uh, Quest. So that is not, not something that's inherently different between the FXR and the ZXR. That is simply going to be a upgrade difference in how we ordered these boats. Uh, now, the graph, however, if you look here on the ZXR, you get a Helix 9 and standard with the FXR package, you're getting the Helix 12. Okay, so that's pretty easy, and that's usually what most people boil it down to is the difference. You get a couple extra options on the on the boat. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty today, so we're not gonna stop there. Uh, we're gonna start over here, and we'll look. Uh, got a, a little, little rubber pad here. Uh, our trim and nav anchor light buttons our aluminum uh, that we use here on the troll motor foot pedal and uh, our aluminum here. And over here, we've got a little 12 volt plug-in, okay? Just your regular standard little cigarette lighter plug-in. So, all nice, clean. Uh, this, this setup is one of the best things I think Skeeter has done or any of the manufacturers could do is uh, you know, one of the great things about these guys is your access while you're working on stuff under the bow. And this definitely makes it an easy upgrade. Step over and we'll take a look at this section on the FXR. All right, so stepping over here to the FXR, one of the first things that you'll see is our uh, little brace plate around our trolling motor. We get a little cup holder, we get some tool holders, and it's got some aluminum etching on it, kind of bring some design to life to it. Uh, same thing around our trim and nav light switches. And you can see we've got an uplighted LED switch or upgraded LED switch here. We talked about the 12 already. And then over here where we had our 12 volt cigarette lighter plug in, we've got a USB and a type C uh, charger port. So it's a little more convenient for some of the technology that we see out there today. Definitely thinking about the anglers uh, trying to make it easy and accessible to use the boat to its fullest function. Let's move back about midship. All right, so figured it'd be a little easier to get these side by side. This is our ZXR seat here. And uh, this is our FXR seat here. Uh, very minimal difference in them, but the material used is slightly different. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a smart enough man to know what the name of this material is, but I do know that this section here, uh, versus this section here, Skeeter creates these to be breathable on the FXR. So this is a softer material, uh, allows a little more air through, gonna help keep those seats cool where this is the same material basically throughout the seat, okay? Uh, and there is some differences on the back seats as well, and we'll get to that when we get to the back of the boat, but I don't wanna jump around too much. 
So let's keep moving on. Uh, moving back in through the boat uh, here, we can see uh, you've got your Skeeter logo there. And over here on the FXR, we've got another one, a little bit different. And that one there is going to give you a little background light as well. And uh, no deck lighting on this boat, but that does light up. One of the other things while we're here in this area we're going to talk about uh, is your carpet. I guess we could have hit it up there, but uh, you do get a uh, padded deck here that is very plush, where here you are not. Uh, they do have some good thick carpet, uh, but it is definitely not uh, what you're going to find over here on the FXR. So another little luxury just to help help your comfort while up on the boat. Now you're going to see some other differences there, but we'll talk about them in a second. All right, since we're over here on the ZXR, we'll go ahead and start with this, the console area here. Uh, so again, staying a little rubber pad, just like we saw on the front, and then a nice windshield. Nice ZXR uh, badging there, some clean vents. Nice fit, nice finish. Let's step over here and take a look at the uh, the FXRs. All right, so over here on the FXR, I'm gonna start with the little pad. You can see just a little softer uh, padding here with a little more aesthetically pleasing design. And then uh, we've got our windshield. And you see you got a little extra badging on this. You got your limited uh logo back here we've got uh, a little badging there just to freshen it up i guess make it pop a little bit more and the design on the windshield is a little different we're gonna cut down uh here a little differently still got a vent it's redesigned we've got a pretty slick little fxr logo there and a little smoother transition up and over your graph Let's see A nice little design difference there. All right, we're in the FXR now, and uh, there's a few things that we're gonna hit here, so uh, I'm just gonna try to reiterate them when I get back over to the ZXR so we can really see the difference. But the console design is completely different completely different on this side as far as aesthetics and look go. Uh, you don't get that plastic shroud back here. You are getting a uh, separated finished fiberglass piece there. The way it runs up and around on the mount is different and this mount sits off quite a bit more uh, than it does on your ZXR over there. This is just gonna make it a little bit easier to move and adjust and it gets it above that steering wheel so that you can utilize the tilt and the trim fully without it running into the graph there. So that's pretty nice. And then as we come down, uh, you can see our aluminum finish around our gauges. It is all different there. Uh, so you get that nice aluminum finish there and there and our steering wheel. Uh, obviously we got a little sportier steering wheel design here. So helps clean up that look a little bit. Again, this one's gonna have an Atlas jack plate on it. And that is not a standard feature. Uh, that is an upgrade option on here. Uh, it is standard in their Apex model, but it is not in their FXR. Uh, so that is an option difference, not necessarily a, a standard difference. And one of the biggest things I think a lot of people overlook are the gauges. With the FXR, you get this digital gauge. ZXR does not come with that. Understand that um, going into it, that if you want engine hours, you're going to have to do something for it. All right, and as we move down from there, you can see our control panel. It is going to be completely different. Uh, this one is all uh, touch on this model with that aluminum brushed uh, plate around it. 
and uh, another nice aluminum design plate on our side over here. We do have the same controls down on the side, except for your Fusion Radio. Now that is one of the standard option differences in this boat and the ZXR. This boat, you're gonna get that stereo system. ZXR does not get that stereo system. And then coming to the back, back here on our back wall, you can see that we've got uh, our Oxymax and our dry dock control. Those are both gonna be found in your ZXR as well as well as your charger port down here. Uh, this is where we're gonna access that. But what is not found in the ZXR is your battery tender uh, gauge here to let you monitor, not tender, uh, battery monitor gauge to let you monitor the levels. Just a little heads up, that thing doesn't work well with lithium. Just, just an FYI. Now, while we're here, we'll continue and we'll look down at our hot foot area. Now, you are going to get a hot foot with your ZXR. Uh, the finish underneath your hot foot, you get this, again, those little upgraded uh, pads. But then, uh, underneath your hot foot itself, you're going to get the hot foot slide. And that's going to make it a little more comfortable. Again, it's one of those creature comfort things that's going to let you adjust the hot foot uh, back and forth a little bit so that if uh, you're letting somebody else use the boat They can adjust to fit them a little bit better and while we're still over here um, Another item over here that is different is gonna be a little docking pop-out cleat It's very nice when you're coming up the dock You just throw it around uh, and you can clip her in there pretty easy and get going all right, moving over to the ZXR. Start in the same area. Uh, you can see our dash shroud is completely different. We've got much more of that plastic dash shroud around here. You can see the aluminum plating, different, a little more basic design, but still nice, still sharp look, just different. Uh, you can see our steering wheel difference. This one's got a much smaller diameter. It's gonna feel a little bit different and a much different design here. Uh, so a little bit different there up to our mount and it'll be a little easier to see. You can see how that one sits up and out and a little bit higher than the steering wheel there where this one is gonna be just a little bit lower uh, and the mount is a bit closer. It's just not going to get quite out of the way the same way. Uh, and we move over here. Notice our plating on the side. It's completely different. Try to pan back and forth a little bit so I can just give you a little reminder. Uh, so a little bit different design there. And you can see we got our standard little just toggle switches here. The backlighting in them. And we'll go over. There's a lot less of them here because you have a lot less stuff in the boat. Uh, when it comes to live well and other functions. So uh, we'll talk about those differences that get pointed out why you got more switches later. Down here, same stuff. Uh, controls minus that stereo. And then back here, like I said, you've got the same two switches. Both have dry dock. Both have the oxygenator in them. Both have the charger. Uh, but you don't get that battery monitor here in this one. Then we're still down here. You can see there, uh, down here, we've got the finished area, but like I said, the padding down there is a little bit different, and then you do not get the hot foot slide. You can see down here, we've got another one of our charger ports, and I, I did miss pointing that out over there on that one, because I didn't actually get up in the boat like this, but um, we've got another little 12 volt accessory plug-in, where in the same token as the bow, that one over there is going to be your USB, USB-C uh, plug port. So, uh, so the difference is there, right here in that dash area. Let's keep moving. All right, so since we're here in this area, we're going to go ahead and talk about the seats and the flooring. In this area, you can see that perforated, breathable uh, seat here in the FXR. The center is going to be a more uh, smooth material, something similar to what you would feel in the ZXR, but it is still you had a different knit. And then uh, on the outsides here, where we're really touching, uh, you're going to get that breathable material there. 
where in the ZXR you can see just like on that front seat that I showed you, it's going to be the standard um, vinyl across. Centered box uh, is going to be the same there, just slightly different design between the two. Um, and then when we step down here in the floor, you can see we get our uh, foam flooring here. Easy to clean up. One of the best things you've ever seen come into the de uh, cockpit area of these boats. Just an awesome add. That is going to be standard in our FXRs. And as you can see over here in our ZXR, that is going to be simply a carpeted area. And since we've already got it on, we'll keep rolling. Uh, the next one I'm going to point out before we get too much more specific is another simple one. You're going to see that our second butt seat here, uh, just a standard butt seat, kind of like your one on the bow was. Whereas on our FXR back here, this one's actually meant to be on the bow of the boat, but they set it up. I didn't adjust the setting, but it is on a slide. So uh, since you've only got one hole there on the front, that's our way to overcome the distance you need to be from the trolling motor. So on the FXR, you will get a butt seat that does allow you to slide a little bit. All right. Back here in our back storage and our live wells. Let's talk a little bit about that. So one of the things we haven't hit yet, and I guess since I'm in the boat now, we'll go ahead and talk about it. First and foremost is gonna be our latching system. Uh, on your FXR, all your latches throughout the boat are stainless uh, fully. Not just the handle, but the whole component. And if you've ever been if you've been around boats long enough, you know you're gonna leave one of those up, you're gonna kick it and it's gonna break. Uh, so it's just an inconvenience uh, to have to replace something, something we know we're gonna do. The stainless just adds a little bit of durability to that and makes it a little less likely to happen. Then uh, in our FXR here, you're gonna see our two outer boxes, um, maybe about the same between the two. One of the differences on, and I'll walk over and show you here in a second on the ZXR, uh, you have a light in the box there where our FXR, you're gonna have uh, our lighting here and the lids on all of them. Those are gonna be throughout the boat on all of these where your light ends on those back two boxes on the ZXR. None of your front boxes are gonna have that. We'll get into the front boxes here shortly. We're gonna open the lock wheels up. Again, kind of another little just aesthetics thing, but we do have some Skeeter badging here. Uh, live wells are lit in both boats, so that's no different. Both boats do have an oxygenator. Both boats do have lights in the live well. Uh, with the FXR, they are throwing you these little fish pillows. Uh, so you get these little foam pads you can put in. Uh, you're going to make a long run. You just toss them in on top of the, uh, the water you got in there. It kind of keeps the fish from beating themselves up while you're running around. Cool little feature, but on that boat, ZXR, if you remember, we had a few less controls on the dash panel over there for them. It's because you've got one pump that's gonna pump in, pump out, uh, and do all that jazz. On this one, you do have a starboard pump and a uh, port pump. They are shared live wells, but it's a backup pump, so we gotta love that. All right, I said I'd show them real quick. So our boxes, like I said, same, but our light is in the box there, not on the lid. And you can see we've got our stainless handle, but plastic latches, no badging, a cool little pillow, keep the fish comfy, you know, that's important. Let's move on. All right, moving on to the back of the boat. So we'll look at the aesthetics first here. Again, with the FXR, you're gonna see that 
everything's got a nicer aluminum brush finish uh, around the fittings or around any uh, areas like that that you're going to find. Got a black uh, little grab handle there to help get up in the boat. The other one's going to be chrome, which is also nice. Uh, and you'll see, you know, because we've got two two uh, live well fill options, we've also got two pump out ports as well. Now let's get down into the the battery box here and all Skeeter models for 2024 had a pretty awesome change at least for anybody that actively has to work in this area um, you know we've got our lights on the back here we're on that boat uh, we're not gonna have them on the doors there and then we got a little drawer uh, that you get to a little container you get for storage in the FXR model that's a nice, nice little feature there, but they did rearrange to allow for a five battery fit in this boat, which is awesome because anybody looking at this boat knows that you're, you're going to run enough electronics that we're going to need five batteries anyway. So, uh, in the past, we've always had to move pumps. They've done a good job of putting their Raptor pumps off out of the way over here on the side. And, uh, We've got a dual battery tray here on the cranking side and a dual battery and a single battery tray over there for the trolling motor and now standard is a five bank uh, charger so as long as we're running 12 volt batteries it doesn't matter what we're running we can use that to charge everything which is pretty cool now on the power side skeeter does in the fxr uh, they are going to have a dedicated line running up there and you've got some dual controls down here and some extra breakers over in the bottom. Very accessible, very clean, uh, very easy to get to. So they do a good job of making this very easy to navigate uh, in this boat. Let's take a peek over here. That's your FX or ZXR. So just a slightly different layout in the ZXR. Our pumps are still together on one side, but as you can see, we've got our dual breakers here, but everything else is gonna be tucked back in a way, a little bit, a little bit more cumbersome to reach, but still better than it used to be. So that is, that is just a, a little a little difference, but if you're back here in the box or you're doing much rigging or anything like that, you, know, you can definitely tell the difference. And then uh, we've still got our dual battery set up on this side, three battery set up on that side with the five bank Minn Kota charger here. And as I, as I showed you on the last one, you can see a little bit clearer here. Um, you've got your single pump out port on the ZXR model. No aluminum plating around everything, but it is nice finished fiberglass, so it still looks good. Our bilge on this side. Something they did put on all these boats that I'm really glad to see because it's it was pretty common. Um, they've added a little pad on both models here where our rigging tube would rest or rub. Um, kind of a silly little thing, uh, but it is... It, it was overlooked for a while and that was needed. So they, they checked a box with that ad right there. That was definitely, definitely a good ad. All right, so coming back into the cockpit and moving forward, I'm back in the FXR, okay? Uh, and uh, first thing that I'm gonna point out is our little trash box here in the bottom of our uh, floor. This is standard in the FXR. It is not going to be found in the ZXR. So uh, that is that is nice. And then just a finish uh, quality, kind of nice city. It's another one of those aluminum plates there uh, for our tool organizers instead of the plastic. And then the same thing over here on our little uh, footstep uh, is um, aluminum pad with a little step pad on it, but boats are going to have our little day box there. So that is nice. Let's move over and we'll take a look at the, uh, ZXR real quick. All right. So over in the ZXR, we can see one, our courtesy light is a little bit different on this boat. 
than it is on the other. A little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier. It's still a nice add, um, but we're gonna notice that our little raised section there to make that step not quite so high does not have a trash bin in it. And then uh, we've got a fiberboard finished tool holder there. Uh, again, the uh, padding, still nice padding, just different, not quite as aesthetically pleasing. There's a couple little small things right there for you. Both boats still do have your Skeeter ruler right here. Continue to move on. All right, so we're back in the FXR and we're gonna take a look at all of our front boxes, just kind of make this a little easier. We already went over all the latches being stainless on this model, uh, but you're also gonna find your LED lighting uh, on all of our front boxes here storage area for our FX or our uh, light there you see our FXR badging through uh, the deck of the boats there now both boats will have the dry dock system so it will drain out the center rod storage and tackle storage here and then we step over here now it's not a huge difference but this little day box is different uh, in the FXR and by box I'm talking about this you are gonna get this little organizer here uh, for some of our little bait stuff uh, it's gonna make it a little bit easier for you to use but here and I'll point out where it's at in the other one they have to move your five port hub uh, and radio because it's in this one underneath Okay, so it does give you um, a little more space underneath the console there to not worry about kicking anything. So that's a nice change that you'll find in the FXR uh, that you're not gonna find in the ZXR. Now something else that you're not gonna see in the ZXR is gonna be our net storage here. Uh, nice, easy way to get it out of the way for running down the lake or anything and you pull it out when you stopped just keeps it from being someplace you're gonna gonna kick it over now back over here to the zxr you can see none of that lighting that we just talked about and you can see our plastic latches um see down here in our center box a little bit different storage system we don't have the high rails on it, uh, they're kind of just sliding down in there. Boxes be the same size, same storage spot. This boat has a cover that is not standard in any of these boats. It is an add on all of them. The other boat does have a cover as well. I just pulled it out so you can see in there. Uh, and then over here for our starboard side storage, and, and you see our difference in the day box here. They kind of just left that little piece out on this one, but. Underneath here, it's just uh, rod butts. So there's no extra storage under there for anything. And like I had mentioned, down here, we've still got our ethernet hub box mounted down by our feet. So just another one of those little things, uh, no net there either. All right, guys. That was lengthy. I hope it was detailed enough. I'm sure I missed something somewhere, uh, but we should have a pretty good understanding of the difference in both boats. The ZXR, phenomenal boat for the money. Uh, it's gonna get you out there and it's gonna do everything you want it to do. You wanna be a little more comfortable. You want a few more features. Want some niceties and some aesthetics, and the FXR is for you. Both boats, and they're, you can't go wrong either way. And by the way, yes, this boat comes with Raptors. It just came in. We haven't had them installed yet, but you will get the Raptors on this one, on the FXR as well. I hope that answered all your questions. If you have any more or want to take a look at any of these, I have several of them in stock come by take a look and it's not just these i do have some of the center consoles i do the soleras so come by or check us out online texasboatworld.com
we've got the selection.